David, your host. I have driven up to Centennial Lake in Howard County, just outside of Columbia, Maryland, on my quest to visit the 10 gorgeous lakes that demand my attention, according to the in, Only In Your State website. I'm on Centennial Lake. This is lake number five on that list. And we're going to see if we can catch some fish. Hopefully we can do so. Come on. There's a fish. It's small, but it's a fish. A little green sunfish, I bet. Exactly what it is. Yep. Little green sunfish. Here on Centennial Lake. A little slider bait. Nothing really to write home about, but it's a fish. The stink is off the boat. Fishing up by these rocks. There's another bite. There I'm caught. Okay, we'll pull that in. So the boat ramp where I put in has a little sign that says that you have to have a permit to have your boat on the actual lake. Five dollars. Perfectly reasonable. You know, get on the lake, spend all day here if I want, spend an hour here, whatever I want to do. It took me an hour and a half to drive up here, so I'm at least going to spend at least an hour and a half on the water, if not even more. Behind me, or behind the camera, We've got what they refer to as the boat house, which has multiple paddle boats and then canoes and kayaks that you can rent and have a good time on the lake. It's really a pretty area. I've got a amphitheater behind me, pavilions. It's a fantastic area. Just wanna see if I can catch some more fish. Another of the same. <laughs> yeah, another of the same. Back here in this little corner. Grab this. Hanging there like a Christmas tree. There's lines on it. Okay. A little spinner bait. Free tackle. So they have this area sectioned off. Not sure why. I don't know. I don't get it. What's beyond that point that's saying don't go there? Don't go there. I don't know. I don't get it. If you live in the area, if you know, let me know in the comments why this section of the lake is basically a no-go zone. I'm not going to cross over the buoys, but I want to know why. Why is it sectioned off? Is that another green sunfish? A little bigger one, but yep. A little bigger green sunfish. Like any other lake, you're always going to have some idiot you can't dispose of things properly. Even a beetle spin these guys will hit. That's number five. As I've said in the two previous videos in this series, Maryland does not have any naturally occurring lakes. If we look here, we can see an earthen dam.
which is damming up this river that we're actually on. I believe it's the Little Patuxent, but don't quote me on that. I'll check it out and I'll make sure I put it in the description or at least a little, the asterisk underneath of what I'm saying right now. It's the middle of the day. I mean, it's noon right now. And quite honestly, not the best time necessarily during the heat of the summer to be fishing. Yeah, I've caught some small little green sunfish around the different areas, but I haven't probably even tapped the number of species that are in this lake. Okay, so not as many fish as I would have liked, but you know what? It's okay, because it's a gorgeous day, a wonderful spot, a place I want to come back to at some point. Now I just got to find the time to do it. Until next time, tight lines.